Hi, I'm Lenny. In this video, I'm going to discuss the film The Vast of Night, which was released in 2019. It's rated PG-13 and has the runtime of 1 hour and 29 minutes. Since this is a mystery film, a suspenseful thriller, this is going to be a non-spoiler review. The movie begins inside a living room, I believe within the same time period that the movie takes place, which is in the 1950s. And there's an old fashioned, old style TV, which turns on a TV show like The Twilight Zone is being shown on the television. Paradox Theater, and it's being narrated just like how The Twilight Zone would be narrated in the very beginning intros. The movie begins inside the episode of The Paradox Theater titled The Vast of Night. The movie takes place in the 1950s in a small town in New Mexico. It's nighttime and the movie begins at the high school gym where everyone is going to be going to watch the boys high school basketball team play a game. Since there's not much going on within this small desert town, everyone goes to the game as a source of entertainment. This is where we meet Everett Sloan who is a night DJ for the local radio station called WOTW, and his 16-year-old friend, Faye Crocker, who is a telephone switchboard operator. While working her shift, Faye comes across a strange audio frequency during a phone call, which also interrupts the radio broadcast of Everett's show. Faye was able to record the sound and play it back for Everett. Everett takes the recording of the strange audio frequency, he plays it on his show. Anyone can call in and identify what the strange noise is. They will win a prize. A mysterious caller does call into the show and he says that he can identify the sound. He heard the sound years ago and knows of others that have heard the sound and it usually leads to a big event happening. A big event that causes things to be completely different. That phone call leads Faye and Everett on a course that is going to change their lives forever. Rating The Vast of Night on a scale of one to 10, with 10 being the best score that I could get, I would give it a seven. It is a very well done film. I found the film to be very surprisingly tense, suspenseful. It's a thriller, it's a mystery, it's a sci-fi film. This isn't a film that's heavy in action. So I wouldn't expect a lot of explosions. The very first 15 to 20 minutes of the film were very boring for me, and I was a little worried that I was going to tune out. I highly recommend it. It's definitely worth checking out. Bear through the heavy dialogue in the beginning that feels like it's not going anywhere, the dialogue that takes place at the opening of the basketball game. And if you can make it through that, you're gonna be in for a hell of a ride. We have now come to the interactive part of this video. If you feel this video is worthy of a thumbs up, please feel free to do so. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see other videos like it, all you have to do is hit the YouTube logo down in the corner and you'll get a notification anytime I upload a brand new video. As always, I want to say thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for your time. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to talk about these things that I'm passionate about. I greatly appreciate that. Please be safe, be careful, and I'll talk to you soon.